Hello, welcome back to Cami Designs. And today we're going to finish our sock. We're going to close up the toe here. So in the last video we decreased the toe and now we just have to close it. And we're going to do the... Oops, let me zoom this out here a little bit. The Kitchener stitch. But first we're going to set up the stitches so they're on two needles. And to do this, I'm just going to, let's take these ends off here. And this is where we started here. So I want to just slide these six stitches onto this needle here. Because when you're working the Kitchener stitch, you work on two needles. You have a front needle and a back needle. Okay. And I have a total of 24 stitches. So I'll have 12 stitches on the front and then I'll have 12 on the back. And now let me just take this back needle here and get them all on one needle and you'll notice I'm doing it purl wise because I don't want twisted stitches they're a little tight so they're a little hard sliding off One more here. Okay. So now I have all my stitches on to two needles. And I don't need the rest of these needles. But these, if you're wondering what size these are and what brand these are, these are Knitter's Pride. And it is a US 1.5 dash 2.50 millimeter. Kind of hard to tell with the lighting here oh there we go and they're the zing brand and i really like these they're really nice to work with but now i have the two needles here i have my front needle and my back needle and the way i have my sock set up is i have it the top of my foot here so what I want to do is I want to cut my yarn now. I want to cut quite a bit because I don't want to have not enough. So I cut at least 12 to 20 inches of yarn here. I just kind of guessed because I'd rather have too much than not enough. Now I want to take my yarn needle and there are different types of yarn needles. I have a metal one here, but you can get them in plastic. And both of them work. You can get them with a curve in it. I just happen to like the metal needles. So, what I want to do is I want to put my yarn onto my needle. And now I am ready to get started. And I'm going to show you the whole Kitchener stitch um, because when I learned how to do this, I watched a video and I kept having to back up and repeat, back up and repeat to get all the steps and remember it. So let me get rid of some of the stuff here and I will show you the right out here. So I want to do the setup first. So I want to insert purlwise through the first stitch on the front needle, but I want to leave the stitch on the needle. Then I'm going to insert the it knit wise through the first needle on the back needle and I'm going to leave the stitch on and then I'll go into the steps here but first let's do the setup so in the front needle here because my yarn is off the back needle where I ended so I want to go purl wise through this first one and when I mean purl wise so you go from the back to the front just like if you were to do a purl and I just pull my yarn through and because I have such a lot of yarn 
it takes a little bit and now I'm going to leave that stitch on there now I want to knit wise through the back one so I want to take this and I'm going to knit through this first stitch on the back needle just like that I'm going to pull my yarn through there we go now my setup is all done now I want to go on to the steps so step one is on the front needle I'm going to knit one knit wise then take that stitch off then I'll purl wise on the front needle and leave that on so it's knit off purl on for that front needle so I'm gonna do that I'm going to knit off so I'm going to take this down the same first stitch here and I'm going to let me zoom in a little bit here make sure I got some good light on here so I want to knit wise which is going this way so I'm going to knit and pull this through just like this but I'm going to drop this stitch off my needle and now I'm going to do step two, which is purl wise on the front. So you're always going to do two stitches on the front needle, then two stitches on the back, and then go back to the front. So I want to purl, if I can get it in there. So I'm going from the back to the front like I was like I would purl. I'm going to pull that through. But I'm going to leave this stitch on my needle. And I want to keep it pulling it tight just so I don't it closes it nicely and I want to go on to steps three and four which is my for my back so I want to purl wise drop off the back needle then knit wise leave on and I'll show you how that works so I'm going to purl wise so let's go to the front like that so that's purl, and I'm going to drop that stitch off. Now I'll slide it to the end of my needle, but then I'll push my needle back through because my next is going to be a leave on. So now I want to knit wise here, and I'm going to leave this stitch on my needle. There we go. And pull it tight. Now I'm going to go back to my front, and I'm just going to re repeat these steps. Let's see if I can put it kind of zoom out, zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see. So I'm just going to repeat these steps. So now I'm back to step one here. So I'm going to knit wise on the front needle. Pull my yarn through. I always pull it through and then drop it off. I don't know why. It's just a habit of mine. And then I'm going to curl wise but leave on and pull my yarn through and I'm going to go to my back needle so I'm going to purl you'll notice I'm keeping the yarn kind of under the needle and I'm going to drop that one off and then I want to knit wise here Oops, I think I'm going off screen here. So I'm going to knit wise and I'm going to leave it on. Now I'm going back to step one here. So I want to knit wise. And drop it off then purl wise oops let me slide my needle there we go purl wise and leave on then I'm going to purl wise the back here purl wise and then I'm gonna drop that one off 
my needle and then I'm going to knit wise and leave on. Now back to step one. I want to knit wise I'm going to drop that off and so I can pull it tight Then I want to purl, purl wise leave on to my back needle. I'm going to purl wise, I don't think I'm in the right stitches there, oh I am, okay so Pearl wise, but I want to drop this one off. Then I'm going to knit wise, leave on. Okay, now I'm back to the front. And you just want to make sure you're pulling it tight, but it is making a nice edge here. So now I'm back to the front needle. So I'm going to knit wise, knit off, purl stays on the front needle, and then I'm going to purl off. So it's pearl off. Oops, I don't want to lose my stitches there. Then I want to knit, knit wise, but leave on. Remember, pull it tight. Now I'm back to the front needle. So I want to knit. And that one comes off and then purl and this one stays on then this is going to be purl and that's going to come off then I'm going to knit on here And that one is going to stay on. Into the front needle. So I want to knit. Oops, my yarn is getting a little knot in here. Let me fix that real fast. There we go. So that was a knit, and that comes off. Then it's a pearl, and that stays on. Then this is pearl, and this is an off. So, and then I'm going to knit, and this is going to be stay on. I am kind of working at the bottom of the screen, but it's just so you can see these steps. So that was a knit on, so now I'm back to the front needle, and I want to knit wise and drop off and then purl. There we go. Pearl wise. And leave on. Now I'm going to pearl wise and drop off. And this works for a lot of things. Um, I've seen it done in sweaters and in different kind of scarves. It just makes a nice finished edge. And I use this in most of my um, 
projects I have to stitch together. Okay, so that was off the back. That was, I pulled one off, so now I need to unknit and leave on. Leave that on, and you see I'm getting low here, but I'm going to keep going until I have one on each one here. So I'm back to the first one. So I'm going to knit one, and this gets dropped off, and then I'm going to purl one, and leave that one on. Then I'm going to purlwise and drop off. And I'll drop that one off. But then I want to knitwise and leave it on. I just want to keep remember to pull that tight. Okay, now I'm back to the front needle, so knit, and I'm going to drop this one off, and then purl, oops, did not make sure that was underneath the needle, there we go, and now the back needle is purl wise. And this gets dropped off. And then I want to do a knit wise and leave on. It's a little tight. There we go. So knit wise, I'm going to leave that one on. And now I'm going to do back of the front needle. I want to knit wise and then drop this one off. And do a purl wise and leave on. Now the back needle, I want to, oops, I want to purl. And then drop this one off and then knit wise and leave on. So now I'm left with, I just finished step four. So now I'm left with one stitch on each one. And this is when you get to, to the end here. This is when one stitch is left on each needle you want to work just steps one and three. So, step one is to knit off this front stitch here. So I'm just going to pull my needle out because that's knit off and pull it tight. And then I want to do step three, which is purlwise. Sorry about that. And drop off. There we go. And there we have it. Now I'll just cut this to a workable length here. And so, because I want to weave in this in. So let's just cut it here. And what you want to do ooh, is I reach inside the sock here. And then I just kind of poke it in here anywhere just so the needle is on the inside. And I pull it into my sock here. Oops, it came off my needle. Let me pull it here. So I pull that thread into my sock. And then what I want to do is I want to turn my sock inside out so I can weave in all these ends. So you shouldn't have 
do the extra here unless you had to get a new skein like I did. And these I will just weave in just like I would anything else. And then this here is my end of my toe. And I'll just weave that in. And I have a video on how to weave in the ends. Um, and then the top here, if you didn't weave it in when you were working. Oh, here it is. Then, like I did, I weaved it in as I was working the sock. But if not, you can weave that in and then cut that. And then your sock will be all done. And you just made your first pair, or your first sock on double pointed needles. Just like that. And you can, well, just like that. And there's your sock on double pointed needles. And I will be doing the next mat, the pair to this one, the match to this one, but I will be doing it with circular needles. And these are the same size. They're just, I think, chogu. Um, so they're the same size of needle, but I will also need double pointed needles for doing the heel and the ins inseam and then working the decrease of the toe. But these just happen to help it go faster when you're working in the round. So when you're working the cuff and the leg part, it goes faster. And then when you're working the foot, it makes it go faster. So I will show that in the next vi next couple of videos, how to work on the small circular needles. And that's it. I'll put this kind of down here. I'll zoom out a little bit. So if you need this, you can see what, how to do it. Um, and that's it. I just want to thank you all for watching. And if you, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified when my next videos come out, just hit the little bell next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I come out with new videos. And I try to come out with a knit video every week and a left-handed crochet video every week. So if you're interested in those, check those out as well. And that's it. So have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.